In this presentation, we'll provide you with an overview of some of the capabilities of the DVW Altrix connector for SAP, or ACS for short. But before we start talking about the ACS, I also want to point out that we have Altrix connectors that work with other SAP products. So we have the Altrix connector for business objects, the Altrix connector for success factors, and finally, the SAP metadata connector for Altrix Connect. When we first designed and developed the ACS, we wanted to make sure that we could connect to as many SAP systems as possible with the one product. And I'm surely you'll recognize a number of the SAP product names here. Primary amongst all of these would be SAP ECC for the current generation, SAP s hana for the new generation, as well as the various industry solutions that are supported by SAP. In addition to these transactional types of systems, we also work with SAP's data warehousing products. So we can connect to and extract data from SAP BW, SAP BW on HANA, as well as SAP BW for HANA. The ACS products align one-to-one -one with the products offered by Alteryx. So for Alteryx Designer, we have the ACS for Alteryx Designer. If you have Alteryx Designer with a desktop scheduling or automation add-in, we have our ACS for Alteryx Designer with desktop scheduling. And finally, if you have Alteryx Server, then we have our ACS for Alteryx Server. All these products have common capabilities. The ACS provides the ability to read data from a wide range of SAP systems into Alteryx and also write data from Alteryx into a wide range of different SAP systems. So let's look at both in turn. On the read side, we have the ability to extract data from SAP tables and table views. So if you use SAP today, uh, the data browser types of transactions, SE16, SE16N, or some Z variant, our capability around tables and table views is analogous to using that particular transaction code within an SAP system. We also support the ability to extract data directly from transaction codes or T codes, as well as ABAP reports into Alteryx. We have the ability to extract data from SAP queries. So queries would be quite legacy uh, today, although the query capability still exists within the latest iteration of SAP ERP, SAP s hana um, and these will be transactions such as SQVI, SQ01, SQ02, SQ03. A lot of T codes there. In addition to that, we have the ability to extract data through SAP BAPIs, as well as RFC enabled function modules. We also can work with attachments. So these are PDFs, uh, Word documents, image files, text files, linked to uh, master data or transactional data objects within the SAP system. So the SAP attachment capability allows us to identify where objects have attachments, extract those attachments into Alteryx, and then recompile, if you like, those original files into a location where they can be reviewed. We also work with SAP long texts. So these could be the long text associated with perhaps a, an SAP CRM transaction, where there's an ongoing dialogue you're having with a customer or perhaps within an SAP ECC environment, there's notes against uh, financial postings or sales documents. We also work with SAP BW objects, such as BW queries and query views, as well as SAP BW info providers. We support a whole range of different info providers. In addition to this, we work with SAP HANA views, and we support calculation views, CDS views, analytical views, and so on and so forth. On the right capability, we have the ability to utilize BAPI as well as RFC enabled function modules to write data into your SAP systems. We also work with SAP IDOCs, very, very commonly used technology within SAP. It's been around for many years and it's really well suited to data migrations in particular. And finally here, we also have the ability to write data from Alteryx into SAP BW info providers. Just want to point out a few key features just to make you aware of them. So our software itself has a very, very light footprint. So we do not require any additional hardware to run it. Whatever you're using to run Outreach Designer 
or Arctic server that's sufficient to support the ACS. The software itself is installed as plugins into the respective Altrix products. The majority of our capabilities, both read and write, require no installation of any software on SAP at all, although we do have some capabilities that do require it. The DVW ACS tools work with all Altrix tools. We have scheduling capability, both from the desktop and server. From a governance perspective, it's important that we don't stage data anywhere. So when we request data from an SAP system, it's a direct pull from SAP into Altrix. So there's no staging of data. Many of you will have quite complex uh, SAP installations. You may have SAP ECC, maybe uh, supply chain management, SCM. Uh, you may have um, CRM on-prem still, CRM. You may have BW. We're, we have the ability to create a single Outrix workflow that pulls data from multiple different SAP systems. Quite important, again, from government's perspective, is we respect the user's SAP authorizations. So a user can only access those objects that they're authorized to access within a given SAP system. Uh, we've designed the ACS so that we can extract very large volumes of data very quickly from the underlying SAP systems. And importantly, there's no impact on that SAP system. We have capability to support different types of delta loads. In the, in the large, we use standard SAP APIs to connect to the various SAP systems. And we also support single sign-on. 